Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks for the interest in my channel. Guys, this is going to be an amazing video. We're talking about Endymion Crater in the north on top of the moon and we're talking about Mons Argeas, just to the right off of Mare Serenitatis. Why am I talking about these two object, uh, these two, yes, object or areas if you want. They're, they're cities. <laughs> um, John Lear, the first time I heard about Endymion Crater and do go see him. Look up the living moon. Look up from there. Start looking up John's stuff. Why? Because he's the first one that I heard talk about in Demian Crater. And he knows a lot about the crater. So what I decided to do is uh, to try to look at it uh, in more detail. And I'm very happy that I did uh, taking Mr. Lear's suggestion because it's not a crater that many people have a lot of information out there about or a lot of photos if you want. And look down here, Mons Argeas. Look at the thousands of structured symmetrical objects. Some of them look broken, some of them look hidden, some of them look cloud covered. This is pretty amazing. I've showed uh, some of these before with the four inch telescope, but now we're looking at it and please do compare both videos. You'll see the difference. You'll see the high definition that we're having here. This is no trickery. This is a straight up X-ray filter with inversion if you want. Some know it more uh, by inversion, but it's really not just inversion. Look at what we're looking at. We're looking at a very clear glimpse of the surface, real objects. There's no trickery here. It's straight up looking. Bottom right there is absolutely incredible. We have an Apollo landing right there, guys. They landed right beside Mons Argeas. They went to visit this city, which is about four or 500 kilometers long, probably about 100, 125 kilometers wide. Here's Mons Argeas. Here's the city or structured objects that go to here, that go to there. And just off to the left of the arrow right here, this black path goes all the way up to Endymion Crater. Endymion Crater has lines running off of it that run downwards southwards of the moon from where I am here in Canada. And it's just absolutely incredible to see all the structured objects around it when in reality we're usually with a telescope, everyone knows it has a telescope. When you get to the edge where Endymion Crater is, well, you get a lot of blur. It's just before the telescope starts adjusting. Top right here, Endymion Crater, uh, that we can see different angles, zooming up on different spots of the whole scene that we were looking at there. Uh, to get, get our eyes used to this beautiful surface that I'm so used to right now, take a look at that. And Demian Crater and all around it has tunnels leading off and to and from Endymion Crater. Now take a look at this major artery, I call it. We'll just call it a line, simply, quite simply, visually. What's going up to Endymion Crater, probably about 30, 40 kilometers away to the right of it. Right here is this major artery that goes all the way down from uh, below where we just saw, of course, Mercrisium, and goes all the way up to Endymion Crater. It was the third and last space flight. Apollo 17 was the final mission of NASA's Apollo program, launched at 12.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 7, 1972. There was a crew made up of Commander Eugene Cernan, Command Module Pilot Ronald Evans, and Lunar Module Pilot Harrison Schmidt. Seriously, guys, are you taking a good look at this? Look at the structure down there. It looks like a round circle half into the moon and half out of the moon with parts leaving it. Mercrisium, top right there if you want to know where we are. And look all around Mercrisium, the porous uh, surface. But, I mean, look at it. This is straight up x-ray angles, 90 degree angles on the bottom here. And yeah, now we're going to go take a look at the Apollo 17 at glance at the landing site. Apollo 17. Let's first of all take a quick glance at the area. So of course, if I was to go on the moon, I'd go right there where it looks like a city, right? Well, this is the landing site. This is Mons Argeas and 
this is what looks like structuring. So this entire area is the landing site, and or should I say was the landing site, back in 72 um, on the surface of the moon. So this is a nice new way of seeing the surface exactly, exactly the way it is, you know, under the veil. We're cutting through the veil and more and more we're going to get down. We're going to clarify. We're going to get in, but we're seeing it, guys. You know, for those of you who, who for the first time are really seeing a surface of the moon, this is a pretty nice video I find to be able to show the actual terrain. There's no lying about it. This Endymion crater, we will go back to it. It is very hard to get, I admit it. Look at the straight lines inside of these um, supposed craters. We're seeing a lot of proof. This was an amazing video to be able to show it with filtering a different view of the surface. No bull crap, straight down on the surface to be able to see uh, the outlining of everything.